Very significant moment in American history. Six-year-old Ruby Ridges walked into an all-white elementary school in New Orleans and made history as the school's first African-American student. It certainly wasn't easy for her or her family, but she played a critical role in the integration of schools across the South, one that will never be forgotten. As Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan shows us, today students in one Sarasota school honored what Ruby, Ruby Bridges did all those decades ago. She was scared and frightened, but she powered through it. And that is really what we're symbolizing today. Walking together wearing purple, students from Bay Haven School of Basics Plus commemorated the actions of one brave little girl. We're showing that everybody can power through it, no matter what race or color or background. 42 years ago, this photo shows then six year old Ruby Bridges of New Orleans walking into an elementary school the first steps towards integration. There's nobody who should be excluded from anything. Bridges faced upset and jeering crowds. By her side, federal marshals protected her. Oh, Today, students walked alongside their parents and were greeted with support. She set the tone um, for equality and power for these young, young leaders. Asa Harris's son, Ian, like Ruby in 1960, is in first grade. Equality is for everyone. Parents organized the walk as a way to show children they are impactful. Bay Haven was the first elementary school in Sarasota to be integrated. I think it's a really important lesson in being brave and going against the grain and standing up for what you know is right. And to remember an important part of history. Everything that should be commemorated does not have to be in February during Black History Month. Honoring a little girl now grown that made a difference. You may come across a hurdle, but you can always uh, walk through anything. In Sarasota, Kimberly Cuisan, Fox 13 News. Today, there's a statue of Ruby Bridges outside her elementary school in New Orleans, and there are schools in California and Washington named after her. In Sarasota, students at Bay Haven hope to chat with her on Zoom later this year.